Hello, and welcome again to Issues That Matter. I am your host, Rashida Omolade Sule, and I'm excited about today's topic. Well, you know that what matters to you guys really matters to us. And that's why we're talking about this topic today. But before getting into the topic, I want to be able to briefly introduce my guest that I have here today. Her name is Talks Afua Asabere. Did I say that properly? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Let's welcome Talks to the show. Oh, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I'm glad to be a part of the show. Oh, uh, introduce <laughs> yourself to our audience. Well, my name is Chokumbo Afua Asabere. And I am a cruise vacation specialist. Yes, she is. Did you guys hear that? Yes. She is a cruise vacation, vacation specialist. specialist. That's why I had to bring her here. Why? We're talking about taking time out. We're talking about vacation. Okay? Some, you know, just we work so hard. We need some time off. And what um, Talks has been doing is that she does a lot of group cruise and, and try to get you guys to relax because I was trying to let her know, going to Nigeria, hello, hello, hi, going to Nigeria, it's not a vacation. No. Okay? And we're going to get that from Talks in a minute. Go ahead, Talks. Um, and one thing I'm, I'm really, I'm looking at, Talks, you're born in America, your mom, dad is Nigerian, Guinean. How is that? How? <laughs> Talk to me a little bit. How well, was that for you? Oh, well, I mean, it's an advantage. <laughs> it's, I see. It is an advantage. Right. So, I mean, I can claim Nigerian when it's good. <laughs> I can claim Ghanaian when I feel like it. When you feel and like it. And when I feel like it, I can be win. American. I can be American. Right. right. So, <laughs> so. Oh, that's so awesome. So, I am blessed. Yes. That's, you are blessed. Because I do have some Nigerian friends. I have Ghanaian friends. And I have American friends. I have all kind of friends. So I'm um, three and one. You're three and one. I like that. <laughs> awesome. Three and one. So the thing is, I wanted to ask you, why this profession? Why, why a cruise specialist? That's a very good question. Yeah. Actually, uh, what got me into it was when I first went on my first vacation. Okay. And after having all this fun and, you know, having a good time. Uh -huh. I was like, this is something I can do. Right, okay. You know, make money and also educate folks oh, wow. about taking vacations uh -huh. and taking time off. Mm -hmm. So really, that was what actually got me into it. And, yeah. I, and it's something I love to do. I love right. to have fun. So I might as well make money <laughs> while having fun. I know. <laughs> That's really good. Yes, yes, so. That's really good. So why, um, so when you came back from the vacation, you just okay. thought this is really good. Yes. You had a really good time. You wanted to be able to introduce that to other and fellow, you know, Nigerians or Africans. Africans, yes. And how has that been for you? Actually, it's been okay. Yeah. It's been all right. No, no. Our people can be at sometimes, mm. especially <laughs> when they're set in their own ways. Set in their ways. It's hard to change them, mm -hmm. you know, change that mindset. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's been a struggle, but... <laughs> I can tell you it's gonna be a struggle because I remember a time I told my pastor, I said, Pastor, you know, um, my tenth year anniversary is coming up. Right. And I would like for us to take a cruise. Right. And my pastor say, he said, Okay, where is that cruise going to? <laughs> and I said, Well, you know, well, let's say Bahamas. He said, well, why don't you book my ticket straight to Bahamas, and I'll meet you guys at Bahamas. I said, what's wrong with? He said, Rashida, if it's not on land, he is not doing it. So that's why I asked you why this profession, because I know a lot of Africans who are not interested right. in doing anything that has to do with water. And I don't know where the fear of water comes from. You know, so that's why I ask you how you've been doing right. in this field and if you've been able to break through. Yeah, actually, um, starting off by going to different e events. events. Okay. Then the different uh, associations that we have. Okay. okay. So I go, into, I, I go into each one of them mm -hmm. and talk about it, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. educate them. And, uh, you know, with time, then I show them pictures of, okay, I've, I've been to a cruise before. I mean, I didn't die, so... <laughs> And, you know, it, it just, it just all about explaining, explaining to, to them yeah. and, you know, getting them to know that, look, 
it's not that bad. You know? Have you tried to get a couple of your friends to go maybe on a free trip and, and uh, for them to be able to see it themselves? Because there's nothing like having them see it themselves. That's true. Well, you know, have you been able to do that? I wouldn't say free because I don't even go for free. <laughs> right. But... <laughs> But I can get him a discount. A discount. Right. Okay. And, you know, I mean, I've had some friends, you know. Um, one of my friends just had a 40th uh, birthday. Okay. And we had it on the cruise ship. Oh, oh, wow. Right. And the friends that came, they really had a good time. They were like, wow. Okay. See, this is really one life to live. So, <laughs> so once they come and they see, and they see oh, yeah. my goodness. I mean, they want to go. Yeah. Even I have a client from Nigeria. Really? Right. Oh, yeah. I have lots of clients from Nigeria that come to the U.S. just to go on the cruise. Wow. And they call me every year. Oh, wow. So, like I was saying, once they, they've been, mm. they feel, you know, and they've enjoyed themselves. Right. They, they also, yeah, they That's always want it. to come back. Yeah. So. I, I love the cruise. My husband and I went on our first cruise. I think it was, excuse me, um, two years ago. Right. And I really loved it. I love the fact that. It's it's twenty four hour eating. I was able to eat all day, drink <laughs> all day, and then um, you can just wake up in the middle of the night and just walk on on on, on the on the cruise ship. Right. And that was just different for me. Right. And I, I really did enjoy it. Right. I truly truly did enjoy it. Another thing that I wanted to ask you: What is the name of your company? Uh, the name of my company is Travel Max. Travel Travel Max. Max okay. Yes. yes. Okay. And so I, how are people able to get in touch with you? I have a website. She has a website. website guys. Yes. Uh, I have a toll-free number. Okay. And also, I mean, they can email me. Okay. Uh, support at Travel Max is my okay. email address. Okay. So, you know, we'll eventually put that up for you so that people will be able to see that and get in contact with okay. you. Okay. Another thing that I wanted to ask you is that are you now putting together a lot of events for the cruise? How are people getting, in, I mean, other than your email, how are they also getting in contact with you? You did say that you go to events. Right. When you do go to events, is it that you hand out flyers? Do you talk to people about? Actually, when I go to events, I try to find who the organizers are. Okay, okay. Ahead of time. Okay. So that I'll be giving a chance to at least speak to them. Okay. Right. Okay. Then afterwards, I handed my uh, flyers okay. to, you know, right. Okay. Uh, Folks, right. What do you think about our people who think Nigeria is a vacation? Oh, or Lord. going to Ghana is a vacation. <laughs> I know. Actually, I get a lot of, you know, that too. They yeah. tell me, oh, I'm not going on a cruise. I, yeah. I would rather go back to go Nigeria. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And uh, personally, from my experience, going to Nigeria is not a vacation. It's not a vacation. It is not. When really? I'm going to get that. <laughs> I mean, you're going somewhere where there's no light. Right. <laughs> Come on. I, I, I didn't say it. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> if I, the last time I went, I was in traffic for seven hours. Are I'm you like, serious? Lad. Yes. I went to see a friend at Lekki. Oh, my going gosh. Going to Ikeja. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Gosh. I mean, I'm not even lying to you. Seven good hours. I'm like, you didn't take the boat over? <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously. Because I, when I was in Lekki, we had to, we had to, we, uh, we were running late on the flight. Right. I had no idea that you could take, somebody can actually swim you over in a boat. You drive your car in. Yes. What? Girl, you got to get up on that. <laughs> you drive your car in. It's about 15, 20 minutes. And, right. you, and you can actually beat the traffic. But right. you were in traffic for seven hours. Seven good hours. And by the time I got home, I was so stressed. Oh, my goodness. I was goodness. so exhausted. Got to the house. There was no light. OK? <laughs> Generally. <laughs> and it's so funny. You know how we complain about the US? Oh, I'm tired of US. I just mm -hmm. want to go back home. I mean, as soon as I got to the airport, I was like, God, so <laughs> country. <laughs> So, honestly, you know, to answer your uh, question, going to Nigeria it's is not, not a vacation. vacation guys, get it's it. Not. It is it's not. It's truly not a vacation. Not. Do you know when I was younger and my mom, every year, that's like my mom's thing. And right. yes, mommy, I'm talking to you. But then I take it back because grandma's passed away. Right. My grandma passed away now. Um, every year that she goes home to right. see her mom. Right. You know, so she looks forward to it. She spends maybe two weeks, three weeks, even a month. Right. But what I notice is that when I'm there with my mom, they don't sleep all day, all night. They just talk and talk and talk. <laughs> and forget that. I mean, she's enjoying that right. because that's her time with her mom. Right. But when she comes back to America, she was more stressed than when she went to Nigeria. Right. Once she comes back, I'm looking at my mom like, your eyes are all red. Your eyes are hanging. Right. Did you 
her thing was she got to see her mother, which I understand, but right. it's not a vacation. It is not. So my thing is we really appreciate, you know, uh, what you do. And the reason why I say I appreciate that is because, like I said earlier, not a lot of people is in this profession. And it's only because I feel like they don't understand it. And we all need rest. You can work, 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 but there's a time where you need to rest so that you can recuperate. And the rest thing is not being stuck in traffic <laughs> for seven hours or now getting to your destination and there's no light. <laughs> and then you say you want to go out on a Friday night. Where are you going? No, 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 no. When you're in Nigeria, where you go Friday night? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you can still go to the... Uh... What, what? You know, the um, uh, Owambes. Which, what, what is Owambes? Right, but... And even with that, I mean, with all this loud music with, and with crowd. That's not, that's not like every Friday, every Saturday. You got to be, it, it means that you have to be in the country at the time that something like that is I mean, happening. Like a person like me, I go to Nigeria. I'm like, okay, on a Friday evening, where do I go to go chill out? I mean, they have some, uh, I mean, beaches, like the bar, a beach and stuff like the that. Beach, who's there? Uh, well, I mean, who, goes at a, who goes to a beach at night to go chill? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> well... Well, they have some uh, restaurants. If you plan to eat some uh, uh, suya, <laughs> you can. Oh, gosh. So that's why I wonder when people say Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. I look at them like, yeah, okay. Nigeria, what? But it's nice. I mean, I love my country. It's not like I try to sell them out in any type of way. Right. But I just feel that they don't have stuff for me to do yet. Do they have stuff for me to do? Then, then I'll probably be regular in Nigeria. Yeah, and the then, one thing I can say too, I mean, the few Nigerians that are getting to, you know, start, you know, I mean, get into the swing of going on a vacation. Right. Now they're enjoying they're it. They're enjoying it. So, and with our people, right. Once they've tasted something, oh that's my good. goodness, if I, <laughs> they go full know, swing with it, right? So I that's know. right. But to get them there, yeah, is where the uh, work is, right? Yeah. So, yeah, to and get them there, right? So, so your 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 part would be to try to get them there. Right. After yes. you've gotten them there, the rest is history. <laughs> right. The rest is history. <laughs> so any last word that you'd like to give to our audience before they leave or before we leave? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would just like to encourage them. Uh, you know, uh, people say, give me some of the uh, reasons they can't afford a vacation, yeah. which is not true. Yeah. <laughs> vacation is very, very affordable. Right. Okay. There are different classes of vacation. You know, I mean... If you have two hundred dollars, you can go on a vacation, Miss Rashida. Two hundred dollars. Oh yes, you can go on a three-day, three-night cruise. Are you serious? Honestly, oh yes. I mean, we have deals all year round. Okay. So, those are some of the things I hear people say. Oh, it's too expensive. I can't afford it. It's yeah. for rich folks. It is not. If you can buy Ashwabi, okay, ah. you can take a vacation, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the reasons. Uh, you know, I mean. Yeah. People don't go. It's because of affordability. To be up there. That you or they say, oh, I don't have time. You have to create you time. You make time. You got to make time. And, you know, because when you look at the uh, benefits of vacation, you yeah. have to create time. Just being yeah. able to Just rest. Just being able to rest, spend time with your loved ones. Yes. You know, and <laughs> but there's so many things I can say, but right. because of time, yeah. so right. So, but I would like to encourage our folks, our people, to take time off, to yeah. relax, and yeah. enjoy themselves. Okay, so you were basically talking about $200 now. I'm thinking everybody should have $200. Okay, let's say I have $200. What's the next step? Uh, the next step is, uh, I mean, I tell you what deal, I mean, what promotions are out there. Okay. And we book you. But I have to make sure that you are able to go. Uh, I so, got $200. Why well, am I not able to go? I mean, you have $200, but there are some re re requirements you, you have to meet. Okay. So, like, if you don't have your green card or whatever, right. Oh. So, right. So, that's, okay. that's going to so be... So, you need a green card to go. Uh, right. So, if you're a non-U.S. Uh, citizen, citizen, you need a green card. Right. Okay. Right. Or a valid, you know... Uh, 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 valid passport. Va a valid passport. With, with a, a, with a uh, visa. visa. Okay, it. because the thing is, when we were talking earlier on, you were saying that you have a lot of people that come from Nigeria right. and they go on the cruise. Right. How are they able to do that? Is it because they have a visa? They have a visa on their passport. On their passport. Right. To be in America. To be in America. Okay. Right. So once you have the visa on the passport, then you can go. Right. Once you have an American visa on your passport. Oh, right, on the, go. okay. So coming from any country. Uh, right. You have to have an American visa saying that you have entry to the United States. United States. 
And then having that, with my $200, I can go on a cruise. You, need, you can go on a Is it any? Oh, it just depends on a three-night cruise. Guys, let me tell you something. There's nothing like having family time and definitely creating a vehicle where you can start teaching your children how to also take a break because it's extremely, extremely important to be able to take a break. I mean, we work, pay bills, do this, do that. Your jobs do give you two two weeks off, you know, either two weeks, some people four four weeks. You know, plan it where, get in touch with talks. If she's telling me that you can do a, a, a cruise or take a vacation for $200, <laughs> are you kidding me? Okay, stop eating all that food you're eating. Put away the McDonald's for a minute for these children <laughs> and take them somewhere where they'll be able to look back and say, wow, every year my parent always took us somewhere. Okay, let's make it a legacy of um, passing down not just hard work, but also fun time with family, okay? Thank you so much, Talks, for Thank coming. Thank you. I truly appreciate you. Thank you for having we're me gonna the put, show. We're going to put her name and everything up so you guys should be able to see that. Give her a call and, um, and um, take a vacation. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Yes, my name is Tokumbo Afua Asabere. And I am a cruise vacation specialist. Um, I do cruises, vacation uh, packages, um, hotels, and flight. So um, the name of my company is uh, Travel Max. Your access to discount travel. So I mean, I find the best deals for people. If you're looking to go on a vacation, you don't, you don't have much money, come to me. I can find you a deal. You can go somewhere and enjoy yourself. So that's what I really do, and uh, the name of my company, it's uh, Travel Max, like I said. You can reach me at 1-888-319-2224. That's my toll-free number. My website is www.travelmax.com.